Welcome to our class, Bringing Brilliance in Speech with Mom Anna. Get yourself ready as I take you to the adventure of love in language. Before we go to the heart of our lesson, let us first direct our heart in the presence of our Almighty Father. Together, we pray. Lord, we thank you for today's blessings of life and strength, and for this great opportunity to learn and grow. May you bless our hearts with patience and enthusiasm. May you bless our minds with interest and wisdom. Give us the understanding and skills we need, so we may gain something from today's class. Bless also our teachers and beloved parents for their unconditional love and support. Above all, heal the world that we live in and forgive us from all our sins and shortcomings. We humbly ask this in the name of our Christ Savior. Amen. To start our day on track, let me say hello in different languages together with the song of Alina. You may stand up, clap your head, wave to the right and to the left, and sing as I play the song. Assalamu alaikum, hola hola, meraba bonjour, kama joba. Assalamu alaikum, hello hello, buenos dias. Konnichiwa Selim, salu, Priyat, shalom Nihau Guten Tag, trau Sia, privit Bare, ciao, ciao Namaste Alright, we are reminded that we may speak in different languages and we may be in different places but we are all speaking lack of language. Wishing everyone in good health and with my heart full of joy that you will join me in today's discussion. As you watch this video, for your attendance, write your complete name and section in the comment box below. For us to have an effective online learning experience, please remember these following hashtags. Hashtag be ready. Grab your English 10 module and prepare your notebook and pen. Make sure to find a comfortable place and keep your needed things nearby. Be attentive. Read, understand, and follow instructions carefully. You may read watch as needed in order to completely understand the lesson. Be on track. Ask questions about the topic and ask for feedback to monitor your progress. Last meeting, we learned about key structural elements of a discussion text, and it has five. Now it's your turn. Comment the five structural elements in the comment section below. Very good! You got it right! So now, let's recite the five elements. deeper. In our previous discussion, again, why do we need to learn how to write discussion text? Write your answer in the comment section below. Indeed, we need to learn how to write a discussion text in order for us to become competent in evaluating and analyzing information. And it is for us to come up with a sound judgment. Perfect! Now we are all set to move on for a new lesson. Our discussion for today is about forms and techniques in public speaking. On your screen, read aloud the objectives of today's discussion. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to distinguish the different forms of public speaking. Understand the techniques and different speaking situations where each form of speeches is used. Deliver a sample speech on an issue employing the techniques in public speaking. Now, let us have the four picks one word game. 
Start by examining the pictures and give the word that it describes. Stay on track by writing your answer in the comment section below. For set one on your screen, there are images of people that you may or may not know, artists or personalities on their field, be it in sports, religion, mathematics, science, history, and there's also a group of Filipino citizens. And it is a situation where you are given a chance to talk to them. What will you tell them and how will you talk to them? What is common in the conversation that you will have with these people? Write your answer in the comment section. Very good! I love that you are participating. The word is speech. A speech will be given or there will be speaking involved if you will have your conversation with those people. This is interesting. Let us have another round. For set two, what ideas can you perceive from the pictures? We have there a teacher in front of the class, a microphone, a student on the stage, and a guest speaker on a graduation. What do you think is common in the pictures? Write your answer in the comment section. That is correct! You have keen eyesight. The word that is appropriate in the illustrations is public speaking. It vividly shows a person who delivers a speech and some of the needed elements to give a speech. Great! As we navigate this lesson, we will learn more about those words, its forms, the types, and most importantly, the techniques in public speaking. Now, let us talk about your experiences. Do you enjoy talking to a large group of people or do you hide yourself from speaking like introducing yourself on the first day of class or delivering an oral report on your subject? Or in our context today, are you the one who is anxious about speaking in front of the camera knowing that this will be seen by many? We all have that experience for sure, but how was it? Well, don't worry, it is normal, especially when you are not accustomed to speaking in front of an audience. It can be an intimidating task. It entails a lot of courage and experience to face your audience with confidence and conviction without feeling uncomfortable and conscious about what you or they may say. Did you know that according to study, 75% of individuals suffer from speech anxiety. This kind of fear is what we call glossophobia. Are you a glossophobic? Well, it is now a golden opportunity to overcome such fear. So come on, let us learn together as we will discover the forms and types of speeches according to its delivery and its techniques that you could use and choose from in your future public speaking engagement. Let us start with the definition of public speaking. It is an act and an art of making speech before an audience, according to Nicotina 2011. Garber 2010 explains that public speaking intends to be purposeful and requires delivering a speech with standard content to support one's claim, structure, language and style, and mechanics. There are two forms of public speaking, the prepared speech and the impromptu speech. In prepared speech, the speaker is given a topic beforehand and a given time to prepare. The different type of prepared speeches include extemporaneous, memorized, and manuscript. While in an impromptu speech, the speaker delivers a speech without advanced preparation. No notes or plan at all. No outline and no thinking time given. In other words, prepared speech is rehearsed while impromptu speech is on the spot. Let me give an example for a clearer picture of it. In prepared speeches, we have debate rebuttals, press conference, TV and radio actors with new scripts, oration, poem, and theatrical presentation. 
in impromptu speeches, oral recitation, birthday message, and job interview are a few of its examples. Stay interactive if you have examples in mind, write it on the comment section. To be an effective public speaker, it is not enough to deliver a speech in front of an audience. Informing them or expressing your thoughts publicly should not be the only purpose, but to let them be part of you. They will be moved and find meaning of your message. So how do we do it? Let us now go through the sum of the effective techniques in public speaking in the form of four P's. Plan, prepare, practice, and perform. Let's get started. Get your notes ready. The first P is plan. In planning your speech, first you have to know your purpose. What will be the focus of your discussion? Is it to inform, to persuade, to entertain, or to inspire? Second, in planning your speech, you have to be familiar with your topic. What is the best way to do it? Gather information by doing your research about your topic. Search for a credible source and reference for your speech. Third in planning is you have to consider your audience. Who and what kind of people you will be speaking to. The moment you know your audience very well, you can easily plan the appropriate content, language, and techniques. The second P is prepare. In preparing your speech, first thing you have to plan ahead of time. What would happen if you did not prepare anything? This will result to promise, and it will reflect the way you deliver in front of an audience. Indeed, planning is the key to success. He who fails to plan has actually planned to fail. Number two in preparing your speech. Use visuals when necessary. How can it help in the speech delivery? This should be done in a proper way that it will not distract the audience or overpower the speech, like PowerPoint or other illustrations. Third in preparing is to remain calm. How to maintain composure throughout the speech? The magic is have a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Relax, have a focused mindset. We are now halfway to our learning journey. Are you still with me? Perfect. Now let us proceed to the third B. Practice. Practice till you are comfortable and familiar with your speech. Let your family, friends, and relatives hear you out. First in practicing your speech is to be open to questions and comments. How to keep an open mind. Ask and listen for feedback and try to apply to improve your speech delivery. Second in practicing is consider time management. How to manage your time. Time your speech during practice and learn to manage time and the actual speech delivery. And now we are down to our last P. Perform. In performing your speech, first you have to be careful with your words. How will it greatly affect the audience? This will affect the audience perception of your speech. Be careful not to use words that might put your reliability or reputation in jeopardy. Second in performing your speech is to speak with clarity. How to convey ideas clearly? One should observe proper pronunciation, stress, intonation, gesture, diction, tone, and pacing. Third in performing your speech is you have to dress appropriately. How to present yourself in the audience. Dress comfortably and professionally. Your credibility as a speaker relies on how you present yourself. Good grooming is a plus. Fourth in performing is your posture and gesture. How do you establish rapport? Be positive and confident on stage. Always have a good body posture and movements, facial expressions, 
gestures and maintain eye contact with the audience. And that's it. The techniques in public speaking in four Ps. Can you name the four Ps? Wow, you are doing great. How about the two forms of public speaking? Good job! And now, of all the lessons we've learned, what's in it for me? So, what? What takeaways from the lesson will be important to know three years from now and why? Let me know your answers by writing it on the comment section. Excellent! All of your reasons will surely motivate you to become an effective public speaker in your future public speaking engagement. And now, it's your turn. Let us build a culture of curiosity. I am encouraging everyone to ask questions. Use our WWH question starters. We have why, what if, and how questions. Write it on the comment section below. Great! I am sure that you are now ready for an activity. Our activity is entitled, Give it a try. Listen attentively to my instructions. First, you are going to listen to a speech. I will pin the link on the comment section. Next, in this activity, there are two parts. First, you have to take down notes and write the strengths and weaknesses of the speaker. So here is the template you will use in answering after you watch the video. Right on top of what form of speech does the speaker delivers, your observation notes, and examine closely on how did the speaker deliver the speech by writing its strengths and weaknesses. And for the second part of our activity is you have to rate the speaker. So here's the rubrics in delivering a speech that you will use in rating. For your answers in the activity, in part 1, write on a clean sheet of paper and if you're done, as a proof of submission, take a picture of your work and upload on the Google Form evaluation link that I will also post on the comment section. And for part 2, the rubrics will also be posted in the evaluation link. You will just have to write your rating. I will give you 5 minutes to do the activity. Whenever you're ready, pause this video and proceed to the YouTube link that I posted on the comment section for you to watch the speech and answer the activity. Your 5 minutes starts now. Welcome back learners! Did you finish the test? That's awesome! As I have told you, the techniques that you have learned will help in examining an effective public speaker. For your final task, it is your time to shine. The activity is entitled, Speak Up. Listen carefully to the instructions. Number one, prepare and deliver a two-minute speech on any current issues of your choice. It could be about COVID-19, use of blended learning, or social distancing. You are free to decide. Number two, do not forget to employ the four Ps or techniques in public speaking. Number three, choose from the two options on how you may possibly be able to accomplish the test. Option A, via recording. If you have gadget, ask help or improvise a tripod in filming your speech. You will upload the final copy of your speech on the Google Form link that I will post on the comment section. Option B, via live video call or video conference. If you have gadget and a way to connect to internet, make sure to arrange the preferred time and modality. You will be graded using the same rubrics on the previous activity. Use it as your guide so you can do a self-evaluation before submitting it. Deadline of submission will be at the end of this quarter. For clarifications and questions, you can reach me through my DevEd email account. The best way to end this session is to leave you a quote from Nelson Mandela.
Mandela. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, it goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, it goes to his heart. So, let your words inspire others. Learn more, do more, and be more. This is Ma'am Anna, glad to be of service to this adventure of life.